hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we gonna make the engine kill switch for a bike or net which is very essential and which company doesn't provide us even though it's cost one like rupees so let's start with the process so first of all we need to remove this part the starter part and it comes shorted with the brake light switch as you can see in the video right now so we need to make this mode as well we need to make a separate connection for this which should fit that switch the black switch which has been shorted with the starter and as well as the brake light so this is the wire comes with the fz25 switch which we had brought for for modification so this has a three pins but the fz comes with a two for the starter two for the kill switch and it doesn't comes with a brake light switch as it has a different mode over their bikes so we need to for God's grace, with this has a three switch in this, which uh, we need to make the blue light to the blue wire to the center one, and the brake light switch to the blue light which is present here on that table right now. So the blue will move at the center, and the black will ground will be shorted both for the lights and the starter, and the green for the starter will come at the left side. So this is the switch for the stock one which is a 3 switch, uh, three, switch 3 connector actually it comes with a shorted by brake light switch and as well as the starter one the opening process is quite, quite easy if you want to do it home you can do it or else you can show it to the mechanic he will do it it's easily as you can see in the video right now so the ground for the both one is shorted we need to cut off the starter ground to implement only the brake light switch as of now let's uh, cut and begin with the process now so this part so let's take off this part now to short it to the ground and before that we need to fix the switch to measure the length of the wire with the stop one so fix the, to fix the switch we need to move a little bit aside the brake lever as a Z switch is big one but there is another problem with this the FZ switch has a notch in that uh, you can see in the video that it has a notch over there so we need to cut off that notch before installing or else uh, it won't fit the handlebar so we need to cut off this part So guys, as you can see I cut the starter ground there in order to make this whole thing with a straight line for only the brake light switch. Well I have connected with the starter to the black switch. You can see in the video it fits perfectly with the switch and there are no issues. The only thing is we need to connect the brake light switch to that point the green one goes to the remaining point over there the extreme left point over there so uh, we are shorting the ground now we have already shorted the green wire which is the brake wire and the middle one is the starter wire the black one is the ground for both so i am giving the ground for the brake light switch now as you can see on the video there is connection already done the only thing is we need to give the ground now so i have started with the ground now so you need you just need to press this part it fits perfectly there is nothing like cutting the wire or anything and by this your warranty will be also safe so you can see here the brake light switch is working and as well as the starter one the starter is also working now so the brake light switch process has been done the red one is for the kill switch by the way so we need to start the kill switch process now by the way guys the starter is also working i'll show you too you can see the starter 
so let's make it a full size one. So we need to open this part and similarly to the other part over there. So it has one allen key screw over here. <coughs> this one push buttons somewhere over here. These are um, this is one push button and another one is here. Here this part. So what you need to do is you need to just press this inside like this. That's it. And just remove it. That's quite simple. So I'm gonna remove this part and to extend that wire till the ignition coil. So as you can see this one is the ignition coil of our bike. So this one the black one you are seeing right here it's the negative one and the green one here is the positive one. We need to cut off this part. From this what happens? the current passing through the engine will be cut off by this the engine will not start so by connecting back this the engine will start it's a simple procedure so we need to connect the kill switch to this part I have already bought some switches like this so let's start with the process I have connected it temporarily so as you can see over there so so let us start cranking the engine so now the kill switch is on the bike is in start now as you can see the electronics are all on but the engine is off now we uh, let us start cranking the engine it won't start because the circuit is not ready and we have cut off the current going through the engine so let's start trying so as you can see it cranks up easily so so guys i have made uh, these type of connections to fix with these points so one is the male point and the one another one is a female point somewhat like this so you can easily fix it like this and in case if you want to remove you can easily remove that uh, after that I am going to pick stick a tape on the, this one and the another part on this one so let me fix it again over there that part so yeah you can as you can see that I fix it like this so if you in case you want to remove that you can easily remove this and without cutting any wire or anything this is a very safe process and your warranty will not void so let's check the bike is uh, starting or not right. The engine kill switch cost me around 2 not to replace it. It's a Z25 engine kill switch. You can bring it from any MR showroom near it, nearby. So the overall wiring and all stuff costed me around 100 rupees. I did it in my home. It's a DIY video. If you go to mechanic, uh, you will easily charge around 500 rupees. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, do give it a like and comment on below whatever you feel. Your suggestions are more like most welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel i'll meet you in the next one thank you take care bye bye